Editing videos on the iPad is one of my favorite ways to edit videos, but you might run into a few scenarios like color grading using custom LUTs, using plugins, or even speed ramping where you'll need to take your project from Final Cut Pro on the iPad and move it over to a Mac to do those edits. Now, if you don't have a Mac, keep watching for two reasons. Plugins are coming to Final Cut Pro for the iPad, so this will be a little preview of some of the cool things you can do with plugins and how it will speed up and enhance your workflow. And then two, make sure you subscribe because once plugins are available on Final Cut on the iPad, I'm going to do a video on it and I'll keep you informed and teach you how to use them. We'll also be covering color grading using custom LUTs and speed ramping, which are things you can't currently do in Final Cut on the iPad. To start, open Final Cut Pro, locate the project that you want to bring over to your Mac and go in to edit. So once you have your project, what you're going to want to do is go up to the top, click the share icon and do Final Cut Pro for iPad project. Make sure you include all media and click export. You can save it to your files, export it or add it to an external drive. Once you get export complete, we can exit Final Cut Pro. Once the file is transferred over to your Mac, all you need to do is double click on it. It's going to open it up and want to extract all the files into one of your folders. So go ahead and choose your folder for your project. Hit save. And just like that, your project will be open. Go ahead and navigate to the default event. You can double click on the timeline if you don't see your track down here. And you can see everything is ready to edit. The first thing that I need to do to my reel is add a catchy title sequence. And my favorite way to do this is using plugins. My favorite plugins to use is by Motion VFX. They're so easy to use and customize, and they just really look good. One of my most favorite and versatile plugins by Motion VFX is M Reels. I really can't wait till Apple enables the use of plugins on the iPad. It's going to be a game changer. If you are interested in grabbing some right now, I will leave a link in the description below because they are doing their Black Friday sale and it goes until December 4th. So it's a great time to save 30% on their plugins. Once you install plugins for Final Cut Pro, they usually show up in your titles, effects, and transitions windows. And in the M Reels plugin, they have some pre-made reels which work really well and it saves a lot of time. So I'm just going to drag one of these down for my opening sequence. Over here, they have all the features that you can customize. So we're just going to name this Epic Fall in Utah. And then I'll just scroll down. I don't need a second title. All I need to do is select three videos and it will create the intro segment for me with the title. So for drop zone one, I want to do a car with a road that we're going to put the title in. And we just have to find a spot in the video that we like. And just click and you can see that it saved it as drop zone one. Drop zone two, we're going to do a another pretty fall shot. We'll find the spot that we want, click, and then drop zone three, which is this clip right here. I'm going to go ahead and select right there, press enter and this sequence will be done. So let me move my audio over and I'll show you what it looks like. Delete that original out. And that's perfect. Now for this next clip, I want to do a split screen effect and they make it really easy to do too. You can do this manually, but it will take a lot more time. And so those you find over in effects, I will go down to M Reels. And I want to make this clip go into split screen. 
So I'm going to drag split screen on top of it. And then this bottom clip, all I need to do is scroll it down. I really like how easy it is to customize. I don't want that exit animation, so I can just come back over into the settings, tell it I don't want it to animate out. And I think I just need to move this clip just a little bit up. And that's perfect. And now it will just continue into the rest of the reel. Now you can see why I like to use plugins because it makes it really quick and easy to get a video edit done and it looks great. Now I'll just finish dragging a couple transitions in between some of the clips. And once I do that, we'll call that good with the plugins. I do have this really long clip right here that I need to speed up using a speed ramp. And you can't do that on the iPad yet. I hope they add it soon. But all I have to do here is select my range selection tool. And I'm just going to go to where I want to start. I want it to speed in till the car's in view. So I'll just select the beginning of this clip. And then right here, you can change the speed. We're going to do four times. And then I want it to be normal speed until the car gets to about here. So I'll grab the selector tool and I want it to speed until the car is just leaving the end of the road. And I'll set that speed. And now you can see how easy that was. It should be that easy on the iPad, but we'll just have to wait for it. And there we go. Simple as that. The last thing that I need to do to get this looking the way that I want is just to add a custom LUT. And I can do that in the effects window. Go to color, custom LUT, we'll drag that onto the clip. I'm going to turn this to Rec 709. And then I can grab the clip that I want. And it really just makes those fall colors pop. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the clips, get them exactly how I want so that you can get to editing. And then let me show you the final result. Let me know in the comments below if you have any favorite plugins that I should try out. Um, big thanks to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. Head on over and save 30% until December 4th. See you in the next video.